my channel what words today i'm going to be doing a reading for the sign of aries sun moon rising venus so first of all i'm going to pull a card to see what the overall reading needs to be focused on then i'm going to pull a nine card spread and we'll clarify whatever is questionable So the card you got is number 14, focus. Okay, I don't know if you can see that too good, but focus, number 14, breaks down to the number five, which is the number four, blessed, change. Okay. Shit. <laughs> Well, you see the focus card. I'm going to lay it down because it's not wanting to stand up. So, the overall energy for the spread is focus. And now we're going to pull nine cards. Three for the past. Three for the current. Three for the upcoming. The bottom of the deck is the Nine of Swords. So either you or an energy that is attached to you could be nervous, worried about something that's coming up because under that is the Three of Wands and I just happen to notice it. So for the past, you get the Eight of Cups. The Two of Wands and the Four of Swords. So you walked towards pretty much darkness because you felt like it was going to lead to emotional fulfillment in some way. It requires you to step out of a comfort zone and you have been in a period of healing. In the current energies, you have the Ten of Wands, the Empress, and the Star. So it feels very heavy and draining what you're going through, but with the Empress and the Star there, even though it feels like hellish rough, know that you're growing and you're healing through it because the Empress and the Star would not be attached. It feels heavy, but it's probably because you're taking things with you mentally and emotionally that you don't have to take with you. If you would just drop them, the growth and the healing could probably happen a little bit easier, but it's feeling pretty hard at the moment. For the upcoming energies, you have the Three of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, and the Death card. So, it's like you're slowly transitioning out of one part of your life that's dying and going away, and there's a lot of movement in your life moving forward, and part of that could be maybe you're building a business or a job, working with someone, collaborating, something like that. So it looks like you are healing. It feels hard right now, but you are going into a period of growth and fast movement. And the old part of your life is slowly dying away. So we're going to clarify the two of wands that's in your past energy. Because that would be something you are going outside of a comfort zone. Let's see what it is. The Fool, the Star again, and the Ten of Wands, damn. So you got the Star and the Ten of Wands twice. So I guess the reason that you're going outside of your comfort zone is because this is all new to you, whatever it is, and it feels very heavy to start to take on the full energy. It feels very burdensome, or in the past it did. It felt like you were really out of your comfort zone by trying to start over pretty much. So let's see what's so hard in the current energies to Ten of Wands. Temperance. Page of Cups. Page of Pentacles. So what is so hard is basically for you 
you, it feels very hard to start at what you would consider ground zero. You're opening your heart and your mind up to learn and love, but at the same time, it feels very hard to do so because you're having to start all over from ground zero. All right, the Ten of Pentacles popped out on top of the Empress. Let's see what else. The Six of Swords and the Emperor. Damn. So if you're the feminine energy, you're moving away towards what you feel like you would have masculine control and towards your Ten of Pentacles. Or either you're moving away from a Ten of Pentacles situation with an Emperor. I think that's probably what it is. You and an Emperor were together with a Ten of Pentacles situation. You're moving away from that and the reason it's so hard for you to do so is because you're having to start over from ground zero. Let's clarify the Eight of Wands. What is the upcoming fast energy in the Aries reading? The Empress, that's the second Empress you got. A lot of growth. The Two of Cups and the Eight of Swords. So in the upcoming energies for you, that is either love and unconditional love with your higher self or that is love coming in for you in the upcoming energies and it's going to put you all up in your head it's an empress coming in the feminine energy or you are the feminine energy and an emperor is coming in one of the two but it looks like the two of cups energy is going to be coming up for you soon and it's going to put you all up in your head because you're still slowly allowing the last part of your life to die off and you're in a Three of Pentacles building stage, and you're probably gonna be shocked when the Two of Cups energy comes in. But basically this reading is telling you, since the beginning of it, to focus on what you're doing. You're on the right path with the number 14. It breaks down to five, which is blessed change. So it feels hard right now. Take it one day at a time. If you have to, take it one minute at a time. So, okay, that's been your reading, Aries, and thank you so much for watching.